Okay, so this is Sure Cuts A Lot 2. It's an awesome upgrade. Congratulations to Todd at Craft Edge. There are loads of great new features in here. I've had a little time to play with them, not much, so I'm going to give you a quick uh, view of what I've discovered so far that's new in the program. Um, this is how it looks when you open it. Um, we have this new document panel here. There's my mat size. I'm going to change that to um, 12 by 12. That's the size I usually work in. Um, and I'm going to scale, uh, zoom out a little bit just so I can see a bit more of my mat. Um, you can flick between inches and centimeters, whichever kind of unit you prefer. Now, this triangle on the left-hand side of the mat here, that represents the edge of the mat that feeds into your Cricut machine. Many people, me included, find it easier to think of that as being the top of the mat. And I'd be happier if the mat was the other way around, so that triangle was at the top here. Well, now you can change that. If you change the orientation from horizontal to vertical, you now have your mat with the triangle at the top, the way it's going to feed into the Cricut machine. So it's much easier, for me at least, to see how I'm arranging things on my mat and where they're going to cut. In the window menu, we have a new section called Workspace, and that relates to how all these panels and things are arranged and so on. What you can do now is you can rearrange these to suit yourself in however you work and then you can save that layout to use it again and again. So if I go workspace and save workspace I'll call that my workspace one just in case I want to have more than one later. Okay so that's there. Um, if I want to go back to how it was when I started I can go window workspace and just go to basic and it restores it to the default layout. And if I want to go back to the layout that I made myself, I just go Workspace, and there's my Workspace 1 that I saved, and it brings it back. If you go to Window, Workspace, and Manage Workspaces, you have a list there of all the different workspaces you've saved, and you can rename them or delete them and so on. So I'm going to go back to um, the basic layout. Now, uh, there are two options there for default workspaces, Basic and Advanced. The only difference with the advanced one is that it brings up down here the layers panel. So if I switch to advanced workspace, I now have the layers panel there and I'm going to stay in advanced just so I have that to hand. Um, first thing that's been added is a grouping and select uh, multiple objects and select all and so on. So let's put a couple of um, basic shapes on my page. I can now do Control A on the keyboard and that selects all of them. Or I can go to the edit menu and choose select all. Or I can use my cursor tool to just draw a box around them and they're now all selected. If I do um, object group, they're now all one group. So every time I select them, they're always together. I can move them around together uh, and they'll always stay in the same places in relation to each other layers now at the minute you can see down here I have one layer it's called layer one and there's a red chip there that means everything that it puts on layer one is going to color red like these shapes here if I click on the little plus icon at the bottom here add layer it makes a new layer called layer two and it's green so now if I put some things on the page you can see they're now green and they're on a different layer I'll group these together too. And if I move them over the top, um, what the great thing is with layers is we have this eye icon next to each layer and that makes them invisible or visible as you click it. So if I want to cut out just the things on layer one, all I do is turn off layer two and then cut and those red shapes are all that's going to cut. The green ones won't cut. Then I can make those invisible and bring back the green ones and then cut again. And those are the shapes that will cut. So um, it's great for um, where you have multicolored items and so on. You no longer need to arrange lots of little pieces of card on your cutting mat. You can just um, cut them out wherever you want individually at different times. So it's fantastic. Likewise, an ally to that there is the new pages feature. You can see this is page one. If I go to the page menu and say add a page, it asks me what I want to call it. I'll call it page two. And there you can see I now have page one and page two. Um, and obviously, 
If I cut page 2, only the items on page 2 will cut. If I go to cut while page 1 is the active page, only those items will cut. This is going to be fantastic for things like um, word books where you need to line stuff up and so on. I'll just quickly give you an example of that. Um, I've started a new document. So um, I'm going to do a square first of all for the edge of my workbook, word book, sorry. I'm going to make it, um, let's say, two inches wide by three inches tall. So I'll just type the figures into the properties box over here. And then I'm going to type my first letter. Let's make it a K. Again, now this time I'll check the keep proportions box and I'll make that three inches high to match my um, rectangle there. And then if I position it where I want it to go, no longer do I need to um, weld each individual object. I can just draw a selection box around the whole thing and check the weld box in the appearance panel. If I do a preview now, you can see that's how my first page of my book is going to cut. I'm now going to start a second layer and start the second page of my book. So again with my rectangle um, it's going to be three inches tall again. I don't know how wide it needs to be yet so I'm just going to drag it into position. and then stretch it to about where I want it to end. That'll do. And now I can turn off the red layer because I don't need to see it anymore. And um, type my next letter, which is going to be an E. Key, uh, check the Keep Proportions box. Set the size to three inches high. And then drag that into position. select them both and weld and then if I preview that you can see my second page there and now if I make the red layer visible again you can see how my word book is building up and of course the fantastic thing is if I just want to pr uh, cut out the, the red page I just make the green layer invisible and choose cut and that is all that will cut and then uh, I do the reverse make the red invisible and I can just cut the E page so no more making word books in Inkscape. It's really easy to do it in Shurkuts a lot now. And the last thing I'm going to quickly talk about is the auto trace function. Uh, again, we've all been taking our JPEGs and so on into Inkscape and tracing them to make um, SVG files to import into Shurkuts a lot. Don't need to do that anymore. Click on this icon here, which is trace image. It brings up a box. If you click on Browse, you can select the image you want to trace. I have a rooster image here, which I'm going to use. Um, I haven't played with these settings yet. I'm going to ignore them for now. If I do Preview, it shows me what the tracing of my image is going to look like. So if I say OK, there I now have the tracing of my bitmap image all ready to cut so quick and easy um, and in my layers panel you can see it's on a layer of its own and it's put the name of the file I used in the layer so I can tell which layer is which and so on. It won't produce separate cut images for multicolored files. If I choose another one um, and import um, let's say this image of my avatar Obviously this has several colors in it. If I do the preview, you can see it doesn't work out the separate color areas in terms of giving me separate shapes to cut out, to piece together to make that image. So it does have that limitation, but for tracing simple uh, JPEG outlines and so on, it's fantastic. Much, much quicker and easier than doing it in um, Inkscape. That's it for now. I hope that's uh, given you a quick taste of some of the fantastic new things in uh, Shortcuts a lot too. Um, there's probably more to discover that I haven't found yet. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.